Hi everyone, Kyle here on behalf of Pixel Perfect Sequences and in today's video I'm going to show you how we can adjust the spotlight effect in the Twinkly Lights Bob's Burger sequence. So the first thing we'll do is open up the sequence and then on the timeline we want to go to the 12 to 15 second timing marks. You can see that there are two pinwheel effects here. The second pinwheel effect is where the spotlight is going to stop and be stationary. The first pinwheel effect is where it will start on the left side and start to transition to the right. So if you want to change this, maybe you have a singing prop on the left side of your house instead of the right, then what we can do is we can move the starting point from being on the left side and swinging right to starting on the right side and swinging left. So what we'll do first is we will come down here and we can change the X axis center. This will move this spotlight starting point left to right. So right now we're at negative 71. If we go over to say 71, it is now starting over here, but you can see it's still going the wrong direction. So what you'll do is uncheck the counterclockwise option and now it is going from right to left. The next thing we need to do is come over to the second pinwheel effect. We will uncheck counterclockwise. We will change the X axis center from negative 71 over to 71. And you can see that it is moving and it is not stationary. So what we need to do is click in this ramp value for the offset and we can leave that set at 65. That will force the spotlight effect to just stay on instead of be stationary. And then if we want to watch this effect now, we can click on the timeline and then we can view what this adjustment has done. So just like that, a pretty quick and easy way if you have props on the left or right side of your house, you can adjust them accordingly. If you need to adjust it further, what you can do is you can play with the x-axis and you can play with the offset value here and here. And what these will do is the offset value is where the spotlight is going to stop. So if you need it to stop, say over here, you would use a value you know, closer to 50. You, know, you can just kind of play around with that and we can see what that'll do. So you come in here, starting value zero and value 50. And you can see it no longer goes all the way to the left. It kind of stops in the middle here. So you can just play with that accordingly with your own layout. Um, Typically, what is recommended is to change this end value to be a little bit less than your value over here in the x-axis center. That way it will create a bit more of an angle. So you can play around with those couple of things. If for any reason the spotlight isn't reaching all of your props, you can adjust this size here. And what this will do is basically make this spotlight beam longer. You don't want to adjust the number of arms. We want to leave that at two. You want to leave the twist at zero. If you want to adjust the thickness of the spotlight, you can do that. So that's kind of up to you, but those are the adjustments you'll need to make in order to allow the spotlight effect to highlight different portions for your display. We hope that's helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook or send us a message and we'll be happy to answer. Thanks everyone and we'll see you soon.